on the bench today, the Creighton 4S. We're going to try to fix a critical problem with this little RC. Ah, for my British and European friends there, having a spot of tea tonight. Yes, the uh, coffee really upsets my acid reflux. For years, the VA had me on naproxen, which really ate up my stomach. Uh, they gave it to me for my back, which really didn't work because I have like herniated discs. But what I found to help with is like you can see, kind of like my fingers are twisted a little bit. Uh, kind of helped with the pain in my hands. So I took it and didn't realize it eats the lining of your stomach. Uh, so, anyhow, yeah, sometimes the coffee is just a little too hard. But today, yes, we have the beautiful 4S Creighton on the bench. It is a great RC. Really my only complaint with this, the gearbox. Um, it is open here. And, oh, look. What is that? Oh, is that feels like diff fluid. Maybe. Did I overfill the diff somehow? Huh. That is weird. Great. Hmm. Okay. Well, anyhow. This, like, you know, some RCs, this thing's open in the bottom. Exposing your spur gear. And, uh, this thing just, it traps so much dirt. On the inside, I've actually, uh, I went through one set of bearings, an armor warranted it for me. They've even sent me a brand new center diff because the, uh, <laughs> the original one didn't have any fluid and this thing was just ballooning the crap out of the front tires. But, I, I tried running this with a piece of tape in there and I still had a bunch of dirt. So now, what we're going to try is a two-piece kind of approach. I have a bag here that we're going to put over the chassis to try to limit the dirt from getting in here and then we're still going to tape this up and then we're going to go run it through some sandy stuff and see. And we're also going to replace it with, uh, with I hope will be better bearings here. <laughs> oh fuck. Well, I just broke that. Oh, dang it. Just drew blood. So let me go get a Band-Aid, and I'll be back. We got that taken care of, but man, here's what happened. This is the same chassis setup for a lot of cars, like the Vendetta. My Infraction, this. They all have the same chassis, and I've worked on this so many times, I just started getting cocky. I, I went to grab this piece. Now normally like this dirt gets in here and it makes it a little hard. And when I grabbed it, there was a bracket right here for a battery strap. That fortunately I don't need on this one because the battery straps are over here. And just being stupid and in a rush, I broke that piece and cut my finger open. Oh, lesson learned. Complacency. Done this so many times. Okay, so yeah, we need to. Oh, there you have it. You can see how much sand that is in right here. Look at all this. What a. F and. This bearing's not actually too bad. I can clean and salvage that one. Hear the grinding in there. Oh yeah. This one's actually not too actually I think I replaced these. I haven't really driven it, but I drove it. I think one time, real quick, to test something. 
I uh, took it inside, used the compressor, got everything blown out as good as possible. All the screws are completely loose. That would be why. Oh, that would be why. Oh, it might be dry again. That's the kind of the problem I had in the beginning. Alrighty, let's see. Let's see how much is left. Dang, almost nothing. Great. Great. Look at that. Look at how dry. So this is what they use, 50,000 weight. Alright, that should be enough because when you put this in, this is going to dip into that and fill in. Oh, we actually have a bearing right there. That feels good. No dirt's getting inside of here. It's just everything else on the outside. And then unlike last time, I, I failed myself to... Uh, Thread lock, dang, center diff. I don't know what I was thinking. As fast as this thing spins, all the vibration and abuse it goes through. Jeez. I've used these racings before. <laughs> I've used these bearings before. TRB, RC Racing, X000VHEZM7. Uh, link will be in my Amazon store, but right there, rubber seal bearings, 10 of them. It's only a couple bucks. And for this right now, all I need is two. Go ahead and put these on the center diff. Feels pretty good. Oh wow, that is smooth. Smooth operator. Yeah. Right. Now what Arma could have done to help prevent this, because there is a little lip here, they could have put a gasket type deal in here and just sealed this off because it is a it is a gearbox. I don't understand why it's so open. Why is this open? And see, this leads to another problem. Even because I think what I, the first time I taped this up, dirt still went underneath here and got sucked in by the gears. And I can't put a piece of tape here because it would hit the gear. And I mean, what are, what are you supposed to do? You can't, like, if you silicone it and you're never getting into here. So... It's going to be a battle. I'm trying. I'm just going to do my best to try to mitigate it between putting tape in here and then adding the chassis cover to try to keep as much dirt out as possible. Hopefully, hopefully we can maintain a clean gearbox. Because even if I don't destroy the bearings, inevitably all that sand rubbing between the pinion and the... Uh, Opinion and the spur gear. Oh, it's gonna cause damage. Now, hopefully, too, maybe these bearings will act like more of a uh, deterrent for sand and stuff getting in there too, as well. I understand the concept. I do from that. If dirt gets in here, it has an access to fall out. But at the same time, it's also an easy access for everything to get in here. Now, your soil conditions might be different. I'm in Florida. We have a high sand content in our dirt. And I'm not even talking about the beach. I'm just talking about our, our yards and stuff like that. I got a lot of sand everywhere. And it just gets into everything. But this RC, especially bad oh, with this gearbox. I mean, I don't really have this problem with other ones, but the other ones don't, aren't really this hybrid center diff with everything in encased here. 
So there we have it. All right, there's not much to this. Uh, you've probably seen the process a hundred times. We're just going to go ahead and put the screws back in underneath, plug this in, and then I'll check back in with you when we start the body cover. Well, this is interesting. I don't know what they made this for. It's obviously not for this car. Um, so, <laughs> I guess in YouTube world, this is going to be pretty instantaneous. I'll be right back with the right piece. But in real life, I'm going to have to go. And you know, the problem is, I've had this thing from Amazon for a while, and I'm pretty sure I missed the return date. But, I'm, man, this might fit like the little Typhon Braun or something. It ain't fitting this. Look at it. It's like that long. And then I don't even understand what this is. It's got um, some type of clips here that go around something. And then two bearings. You got Velcro here. And zero instructions. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, I, don't, I don't know what these clips would be. They're too big for the center brace, I, I think. Even if they did, what are the ball bearings for? What do you need ball bearings on a... On a body cover, I don't. I'm at a loss. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, I said just in like a blink of an eye, I'll be right back with the uh, hopefully the right cover. All right, everyone, check it out. I got that little coffee warmer there. Not working very well. Probably gonna have to send that back. But you know what looks like it's going to work well? Ah, check it out. I decided not to bore you with all the uh, installation. I mean, it's just put some Velcro right here in the chassis and stick the bag on there. Uh, I did kind of put it on backwards at first. I thought it would go the other way. But then I realized these zippers were so far here in the in the front underneath the, the mud guards here. I was like, ah, that, that's not going to work. So... And then also what I did is right here, not sure how well, you might be able to see, you see some gray stuff down here. This is some putty. It's actually weather stripping from the RV. I took out one of the vents on the roof and put in a fan, and that's kind of what you beat around that to, uh, So now the only thing left to do is wait for daylight and then uh because you know it's uh, it's 2 43 in the morning <laughs> uh then we'll go out there and run it and see how well this bag protects everything check it out guys man get the beautiful roof rails here from garage life rc so if you're looking if you have a crate and you're looking to protect it your ride check them out they got them in all kinds of colors i will see you when the sun's up. Okay, so right here in the yard, we kind of got our own little mini sand pit, so. Oh, I'm probably gonna get in trouble with the wife for this. Well, I'm definitely getting in trouble now. We're gonna look at how dirty that is. Tell you what man the 4s is so much fun you just really kind of get slept on with all the uh, bigger more expensive rcs man 
This is a little forest Creighton, man. That's a blast. All right, so I'm just going to go through here. I'm going to run this for a few minutes. Then we're going to go back inside, take it apart, and see what the gearbox looks like. All right, so what do you think? What do you think we're going to see? Oh, well, there's a bunch of stuff on top of it. Oh, no, there's a bunch of stuff inside of it. Dang. Well, let's, uh, golly, I hate doing that. Look at it all on my bench. The stuff I do for you guys. Oh, yeah, no, that did not work at all. That did not work. That did not work. Look at, oh, geez. This is probably the worst bag ever. Holy moly. Wow. Well, I'm pretty sure I don't even have to open that gearbox up and know that it's going to be true. So this is just absolutely worthless. I think I actually got more stuff in here. How did that even happen? I mean, I know it only goes, wait, but, and this is open, but the tires are spinning this way. Should be throwing stuff back. I mean, I guess because it's just landing. No, it still doesn't make sense. I mean, there's a little opening here and there's a... Wow. So I think at that point, I would just take this thing off because you could definitely feel like how warm this bag is. Wow. That sucks. That really sucks. So guys, you know, not everything always works out like we plan. Might just be, re no, I guess I can't return, I don't know, maybe I can return it. This bag here does not, I put one of these bags on my Rustler, and it was absolutely fantastic. Fantastic, it keeps everything out. Oh, not this one, no. Oh, what am I doing? That's the wrong thing. All right, well, I guess then I get to go outside and try out the new blower. I'll be back. I can already tell you by uh, that none of that worked. Somehow, well, you saw the dirt ended up in here. But look, I mean... I don't know who worked at Arma figured this was a, did you guys not test this thing to see if that was not a good idea but <sighs> so I would say the only thing the test showed is that these bearings are well worth the money because every time I've taken this RC out even with a brand new bearing immediately I feel all the sand in the bearings so I know I can't do this just one time and really say, but I feel confident like that is, the bearings are definitely worth the upgrade. And other than that, there's just going to be no fixing the dirt getting into this thing. So this is going to be one of these maintenance things that every couple of runs going to have to take this thing out and uh, keep it clean. That's just the, the, the bad thing with this new setup on this. And just try to drive it where it's not so, so dirty. <laughs> but it, it's really a great RC, man. It really is. I love this thing. It's got a lot of power. It does really good. Um, but the bag just didn't work. Now I'm afraid. I got a bag for the um, uh, Mojave. And uh, like I said, I, did, I put one on my Rustler. And it did really, really well. I mean, I don't really... I don't even have problems with the temperatures but it does it keeps all the dirt out i mean just very little like a light dusting i don't understand what happened here i mean i guess probably just these big holes here in the front you know no rc out there in the world's perfect everyone's gonna have some type of flaw this is just a little bit more major of a flaw because you have dirt in here with your gears i mean look at my my opinion you can see the sand in there so this is going to be a problem so i'm going to wipe that down try to make sure there's absolutely no grease on this thing so nothing sticks to it put it back together and then 
we will see you on the next video. Everyone, I appreciate the support. Thank you very, very much for the kind words, support, subscribing, using my Amazon links, all that stuff. It really, really helps the channel. It's greatly appreciated, you know, like buying these signs and all that stuff. It's a really cool way of helping, and I greatly appreciate it. So, did we fix it? No, but, you know, lesson learned. All we can do is try. Thank you very much for your time. Thanks for watching. I know you have lots of choices out there as to who you're going to watch for your RC vehicle ventures. And I'm glad you're giving me your time. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.